Hello, Laura. Hello, teacher. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so did you have your breakfast already? Yes. Yeah, well, any... Well, after a class, I think you're going to eat your lunch already, right? Yes. Okay, wait. Uh, today is 10 o'clock in Vietnam, right? Yes. All right. So just in time after this one, we can have our lunch together. Okay, so let's begin our makeup class for today. All right, so... Our first activity, Laura, is, oh, wait, yeah, it's unit, this is letter D activity, the best and worst. Okay, wait a minute, what happened? Okay, so let's answer. The first activity, it's letter A. Choose and circle and complete the story, okay? So, all right, now, now, um, Laura, you have to read the story about my best day. And while reading it, you must say the correct word. You must yesterday, say the correct word, okay? Mm -hmm. Yesterday was my best day. My class went to five Field we trip. Field trip. Field trip, we went to the science museum. There was interesting thing at the museum. We saw whole dinosaurs skeleton. We saw a space so, so we walked. We talked. We talked. To a real science. scientist. Scientist. We learned about space travel. Everything was exciting at the museum. Okay, very good. So this is, you got all the answers correct. So four points for the first activity. Okay, now Laura, um, say if it is true or false. Okay, number one. Cody's class with a, was at the museum yesterday. Yes, true. They saw a dragon skeleton at the museum. Is it dragon? False. Oh. False, because what is that? Uh, Nanso. Yes, number three. Cody had a great time at the museum. True. True, yes, very good. How about you, Laura? Where was the last time that you had your field trip at school? Uh, last. Last year? I, I don't remember. Oh, maybe that was last school year when there was not, when we haven't no, oh, what is that? There was no COVID yet, right? Yes. Okay, so where where did you go? I don't remember that. Did you go at the museum also? Um, I, don't, I don't know. You don't remember? Okay. Yeah. All right, so now let's continue, to, uh, Laura. Let's go to part number two activity, word practice. Choose and write the correct word, okay? So in every number, Laura, you can see some box at the top. You can choose your answer there, okay? Number one. I play in the school soccer game. We play so school, another school. We played score, are you sure? We play again. Yes. Another school. Mm -hmm. I won the winner goal. I scored the winning goal and last one. 
We won the game. Very good. We won the game. Okay, wait. Let me put a tick first. Okay, how about number five? There was a... Oh, no, no, no. I, the other box. I... I watched. Are you sure we watched? I invite. Yes, I invited. To my birthday party. Mm -hmm. The party was at the indoor playground. We watched a magic show. I got them. I got many great presents. Okay, very good. Next number nine. There was a Oh, that is spelling. Spelling. Oh, what is that? There was a spelling bee at school. Okay. Spelling bee is correct. My class play again another prize. Mm-hmm. No. Spelling. No. Spelling B. Class is the answer. Okay, number 11. We price the work correctly. Are you sure we price the words correctly? Spelling bee. Yes. No, no, no. Spell. Spell only. We spell the words correctly. Number 12. We won the first prize. Yes, we won the first prize. So this one is spelling B, okay? So you are correct here. Spelling B and prize. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points for you. Okay, let's continue, Laura. Oh, what is this? The simple past tense, okay? So we're talking about the simple past tense. Okay, example is subject plus was or where plus object. Example, we went shopping yesterday. He didn't come to school last week. Okay, so those are the example sentences using the format subject plus was or where plus object, okay? All right, Laura, can you give me two examples, please, of this sentence using subject plus was or where? Um. My dad get my dad gave me a present at yesterday. My dad gave me a present yesterday. Okay, where is the word was or where? Maybe you can say my dad was able to give me a present yesterday. Okay, you, you must always use the word was or where. Okay, one more time. Don't forget to use was or where. My dad was gave me a bracelet as yesterday. My dad was gave me a breast bracelet yesterday. Oh, that's wrong. My dad was able. Okay, you can say she he was um wait, 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 wait. You always 
include the word was or where. Okay, example. He was able to buy at the supermarket or he they were a they were swimming last night. They were studying today or something like that. Okay. Don't forget the word was or where. Okay, anyway, let's continue here, Laura. So in this activity, you must encircle the number and say the sentences. Okay, now Laura, how many sentences can you make with a word starting with we? Two. Okay, very good. It's two. What are these sentences, Laura? Can you tell me? We won the first prize. Okay. We went to the movie. Very good. We won the first prize and we went to the movies. How about number two? How many sentences can you make with the word, my friends? Uh. Two. Okay, it's two also. What are these sentences, Laura? My friend was great. My friend went to a movie. Okay, that is wrong. My friends won the first prize and my friends <laughs> went to the movies. Okay, so next one. How many sentences can you make with the word the show? One. Are you sure with one? Two. Okay, it's two. What are these sentences, Laura? The soul was great. The soul was the first prize. The show was the first prize. Okay, let's see. It can be one. Okay, the show was great or the show won or was the first prize is correct. Okay, very good. Two, three, four, five, and six points for you. Okay, next one, Laura. Let's continue to activity number three. Grammar practice. Circle the correct word, okay? You don't have to circle. Just read the sentence with your correct answer, okay? Number one. We are talking about tomorrow game. Okay. We learn a lot about the inside class. A race, a race again, John. I and I won. Okay. My mom is talking about my dad. They are in the kitchen together. Are you sure with about? My mom is talking to my dad. Okay. Next number five. I did my art project. With Amy. Yes, that's correct. We did. did a good job. Okay, last my dad, one. My dad usually asks. About our school at dinner. Okay, very good. School dinner. Okay, five points for you. Next one, Laura. Let's have this one, okay? Also here, Laura, you just have to make a sentence using the words on the box. Or you just have to correct the sentences here. Okay, wait for me, please. Laura, I will just go to the bathroom. Wait for me.
Okay, so now let's continue. Okay, number one, Laura, what is the correct sentence here? Last Sunday was my birthday. Okay, let's see. Okay, last Sunday was my best day. How about number two? I went to my school ball with my family. Okay, I went to my school fair with my family. Number three? We bought some raffle tickets at the store. Okay, four? I had the lucky number seven on my ticket. Then next one, number five? I won the first prize in the raffle. Mm -hmm. Next. I got I got a fancy game player. Yes, that is correct. So six points for you okay now. We are going to make your own sentences in this activity. Now you can choose your words from the word bank, okay? You can talk about birthday party, school soccer game, or spelling bee. So, wait, uh, this is nine sentences. So therefore, you give me three sentences each topic. Okay, Laura? Okay. Okay, let's start with birthday party. Give me three sentences about the birthday party. I invite friend to the party. I invited friend to the party. Mm -hmm. Next. Um, Wait, you can add more words, okay? You can add more words, but you just choose the word here and then add more details. I have a party birthday. I have a party at the indoor playground. Okay, very good. Last one. We wash hands. Mm -hmm. My party had a magic show. My party had a magic show. Okay, very good. Next, let's talk about school soccer game. Okay, three sentences again. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I will type it so it can be more beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Okay, wait a minute. Let's type it. Okay, what's your first sentence, Laura? I invited Hi. my friends to the party, right? Yes. Okay, let's type here. I invited my friends to the party. Okay, what's the second one? Um, I have a birthday at the indoor playground. I had a birth. I had a birthday at the indoor playground. What's the last one? My, my party had a magic show. My party had a magic show. Okay, very good. Next one. Um, about school soccer game. Okay, three sentences again. We play. We play in the soccer game. Again, we play. We play in the soccer game. Okay, you do not say we played in a soccer game. Maybe you can say 
we played a soccer game, okay? Our next one, number two. Must go play again. Another school. My school play against another school. Okay, very good. Next. My class. My class. So the window go. I'm gonna get my class. Go. Scored. The winning goal. Okay. Scored the winning goal. Okay, now three sentence again about the spelling B. My class played again another class. My class played against another class. Okay, next. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is wrong spelling. My class played. Okay, next. Um, I sp spelled the word correctly. Okay, I spelled the word correctly. Very good. Last one. My friend. Mm -hmm. My friend won the first try. Won the first prize. Okay, very good. So let's see. Can you read your answers now, Laura? I invite my friend in the party. I had a birthday at the indoor playground. My party had magic so mm -hmm. we play Again, my school play again in other school. My class got the winner gold. My class play again another class. I spelled the word correctly. My friend won the first prize. Okay, very good. So all your answers are correct. Good job, Laura. So I will give you nine points here in this activity. Okay, now let's move on here. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, now I will open another activity. Wait for me. Okay, this is our next lesson for today. Okay, our lesson for today is Unit 33 at the hospital. Okay, so now, Laura, I want to ask you, what are the things that people do in a hospital? Why do you think people go to the hospital? Um, they have a... What is it? They have a um, they have a sick and then go to the hospital. Okay, they, you mean that um, when people are not feeling good or they are sick, they go to the hospital, right? Yes. Okay, how about you, Laura? When was the last time that you went into the hospital? Mm. 
it's a old time. It's a long time ago. Okay, so yes. why did you went to the hospital, Laura? I have a mental. I have a sick. You're sick. What uh, what do you feel then? Mm, tired. You feel tired. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. You feel tired because you're not feeling good. That's why you you feel that way. Okay, so now, Laura, which words is connected with hospital? Okay, now, Laura, can you give me five words that, that is connected with hospital? Uh, yeah. uh, five words that connected in hospital. It means the words here is being used in hospital. Okay, example, emergency. Uh, what else? Um, Well, the example is emergency. What other uh, words is connected to hospital? A doctor. Doctor, okay. Nurse. Nurse. A bed. Bed. Okay, bed or hospital bed, yes? Uh, what else do you think? So there's bed, nurse, doctor. Okay, maybe we can use the word sick and then we can use the word patient, okay? So those are some words that's connected with the word hospital. Okay, now, Laura, let's continue. Okay, let's have some vocabulary first, okay? What is the first word? Can you read it? What's the first word, Laura? Sickness. Sickness. Oh, what do you mean by sickness? Um, sickness is um, uh, is not Good. Okay, that's good. So sickness means this is what we feel when we are not feeling good. Okay, next one is number two. Medicine. Medicine. Okay, what's medicine, Laura? Mm. Medicine is... Um... It's a you you feel 
just bad and you drink medicine make you feel good. Okay, that's correct. So medicine, this is something that we take or we drink when we are sick so that we can feel better and um, we can be cured. Okay, very good. Next one is? Chemist. Chemist. Okay, what's a chemist, Laura? Who is my... Uh... Hmm. Mm. What's a chemist? It's a job. Okay, it's a job. Yes, that's correct. Chemist, this is, there are two meaning of this one, okay? So chemist, the first meaning of this one is a job, okay? This is some someone who makes medicine, right? And also, yes. chemist, this is a place or a kind of a store which you can buy some medicines. Okay, number four, Laura? Ambulance. Ambulance. So oh, what's an ambulance? Um... Is um a car? Yes, a car that it drive the people feel not good. Okay, so very good. Ambulance. This is a kind of a vehicle or a car that brings the sick people quickly to the hospital okay very good last one laura um temperature okay what is temperature um oh uh, it's um is the is look like a uh, weather hot and cold. yes that's correct so this is temperature it means this is the measurement of uh, this is a kind of measurement when uh, this can tell if it's hot cold or what yes that's correct very good Okay, now let's continue. So letter A, read the sentences and find the answers in the box. Okay, now Laura, you can see here, there is a box here and then you can choose your answer from here. Okay, example, when you have one of this, you might have a cough and your nose goes red. So the answer is cold. Okay, how about number one, Laura? Someone will try you really quickly to display if you are studently very ill. Mm -hmm. Ambulance. Very good. Where's ambulance there? Can you look for the word ambulance? Yes. yes. Very good. Two. You will to see this person if one of your teeth break or hurt badly. Mm -hmm. Teeth breaks. This is a doctor to our teeth and mouth. I don't know. Okay, you call this one a, a dentist. Okay, dentist is the answer here. Okay, number three. 
if you feel sick, the doctor might give you some of this. You feel better. Mm -hmm. Medicine. Yes, where is medicine? Can you look for it? Okay, very good. Medicine is correct. Number four. You can buy something here for a head age. This place still thing like so sample and calm was well. Mm -hmm. This place sell so things like soap, shampoo, and combs here. I don't know. Oh, this is a chemist. Number five. This people look after anyone who was to stay in hospital because they are ill. Mm -hmm. mm. These people look after anyone who has to stay in the hospital because they are ill. Nurse. Okay, very good. It's a nurse. So last one, Laura. This is absent white with blue light on its roof and you can travel quickly to the hospital in it. Ambulance. Okay, very good. Ambulance is correct. Okay, well, you got uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, four points for you. All right, well, that's all for today, Laura. So I'm going to see you again on our class on Tuesday, okay? Okay. And later, I will send your homework to Zalo. All right. So that's all for today, Laura. Good, goodbye and see you again. Bye.